Hello boys and girls, today we're going to be working on lesson 6-8. This is on page 329 of our math workbook. So if you need to, pause the video and then play it when you are all ready. All right, Daniel's teacher, this is Daniel, he's making name tags for her students. She makes three name tags for boys and she makes two more for girls. Now she has five name tags. How does Daniel's teacher know that she has made five name tags? How did she know that? A way that we could do this and solve it is by drawing it. So let's draw it. So she makes three name tags for boys. And then she made two more for girls. Now let's make our equation. So we had three name tags for boys plus two more for girls. Now, how many is that all together? How many name tags did she make? We could count them. One, two, three, four, five. There are five name tags all together. She knew that there were five name tags because she had three and then she added two more to it and when they are all together, that makes five. Is that what you had for your equation? All right, let's go ahead and turn to this page. I want you to listen to this story and then we're gonna be drawing a picture to show what is happening and then we're gonna write the equation. Now this one, they've already done it for us so we can just look at it or trace it. So Daniel puts two red crayons and four red blue crayons on the table. So he had two red crayons. I'm just gonna do a quick little trace and then four blue crayons, four of the blue. Now there are six crayons in all. Now let's write the equation so that Daniel can tell how many there are in all. So he started with two crayons, then he did plus four crayons, and now he has all together how many crayons? Six. That is our equation for the story that we read. Now that's what we're gonna be practicing a lot today is writing our writing, drawing the story and then writing the equation that goes with it. All right, so listen to my story for number two. Jorge puts four blue paint jars and three red paint jars in the art room. How many paint jars are there in all? So let's read that again and we're gonna draw it as we go. Jorge puts four blue paint jars. So let's draw four. So we started with four. We can even write the number four. Plus, because he added some more, plus three red paint jars. So we had four plus three. Now, how many is that in all, all together? Don't forget that equal sign. That tells me that it's the same as how many all together. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven all together. If you need to, pause it so you can go on to the next one. Number three, listen to my story. Maya has three green pencils and two orange pencils. How many pencils are there in all? All right, let's read it again and let's draw the pictures as we go. Maya has three green pencils. And so we can write three. So she starts with three green pencils. Then she adds plus two orange pencils. So how many of the orange pencils did she add? Two. How many pencils does she have in all? So that equals, put our equal sign in there, how many all together? There's one, two, three, four, five, all together. 
3 plus 2 equals 5. All right, let's check number four. Rex has one sheet of blue paper and eight sheets of yellow paper. How many sheets of paper does he have in all? Now let's draw these pictures. Rex has one sheet of blue paper and then eight sheets of yellow paper. Let's draw it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so he started with one, then plus how many came? Eight. And that equals how many all together? All together, how many does he have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine all together. If you need to, pause the video. Number five, listen to this story. Reagan has four green blocks and four yellow blocks. How many blocks does she have in all? All right, let's draw it. She has four green blocks. So she started with four green blocks plus how many yellow blocks? Four yellow blocks. So she had four green blocks. Now she has four yellow blocks. How many are there in all? All together, how many are there? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight all together. Four plus four equals eight. If you need to pause the video, you can always pause it before we go on to the independent practice. Now the independent practice is one that you need to do all by yourself. Grown-ups should not be helping you do this. I wanna see if you are able to do it. So number six, seven, and eight, I'm gonna tell you the stories. I'll say them twice, so you might need to go back and listen to it so you know what the stories are and pause it in between so you can do um, draw it and then write it. Now don't forget the plus sign and the equal sign. Those symbols are very, very important. All right, let's start with number six. And then after I read it, you need to pause it so that you can draw it and write the equation. Number six says, Benny puts five bananas in a bowl and four bananas on a plate. How many bananas does he have in all? I'll read that one more time. Benny puts five bananas in a bowl and four bananas on a plate. How many bananas does he have in all? All right, pause the video to finish this, to draw the pictures and write the equation. Number seven, Chris eats two grapes at lunch and six grapes for her snack. How many grapes does she eat in all? Let me read that again. Chris eats two grapes at lunch and six grapes for her snack. How many grapes does she eat in all? Draw the pictures, write the equation, pause the video so you can do that, and play it when you're ready for number eight. Number eight says, there are four girls and two boys on a train ride. How many children ride the train in all? I'll read that again. There are four girls and two boys on a train. How many children ride the train in all? All right, pause the video so you can draw it and write the equation and then play it for number nine. All right, I'm gonna tell you a story and I want you to circle the connecting cubes that show the story and tell why the other cubes do not show the story. Then write the number to tell how many in all. So I'm gonna share a story. Is it this one that shows my story or this group that shows my story? Okay, listen to my story. Jimmy picks five raspberries, then he picks three more. How many raspberries does he have in all? Which one of these were my, that shows my story? Which picture, this group or this group? Jimmy picks five raspberries, then he picks three more. 
how many raspberries does he have in all? So first pick the group. Does this one show my story or this one show my story? Then write the number of how many he has in all. This is the only page you need to post onto Seesaw. If you would like extra work, you can always do the homework practice.